We are on the coast of California. The name of this episode is Seaside to Seaside, with Portland in between. I guess one of the best ways to have fun really is to, to uh, do a sport that's uh, rigorous because that's going to keep you in shape. All the way from Santa Cruz? Yep, from Santa Cruz. Okay, what brings you here today? Um, just the tournament and good competition. Okay, volleyball is, is a pretty, pretty hard sport, isn't it? The way you guys are going about it. Uh, we hustle, yeah, but it's fun. It's worth it. Okay, you're over here to get cleaned up a little bit. It's fierce <laughs> competition over there. So there's some really good teams, but it makes it fun. And okay. I have sand in my contacts. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I'm going to let you get those washed out. Okay. What's your name? Aaron. Thanks for being on public access. <laughs> Thanks for talking. Hey man, what time is this over? As long as they want it to come. As long as the city of Monterey allows us to promote this, we'll be here. Again, we, as I stated earlier, it's all about growing the game, volleyball with our youth. And that was my main passion in building this, this dream paradise volleyball team right here in Monterey. As long as the county can support this, we're going to continue to provide this for, for our community at large, our community and, and those who are coming from out of the area as well. And our next event will be October 4th and 5th. Okay. It's the Monterey Beach Sports Fest. So we're bringing beach volleyball again to Del Monte Beach. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, man. You're welcome. So this is the Monterey Beach Open um, for beach volleyball. We have uh, we had 115 teams yesterday that was in the youth division. Uh, girls and boys, um, all different age groups from 12s all the way to 18s. Um, to, uh, it, was, it was a good event. It, yesterday went super smoothly and, uh, and on into today. You know, it's, it's, it's looking like beautiful weather. And hey, did I get your name? I'm Garrett, Garrett Wilson. Oh, okay, where are you from? I'm from Aptos, so other side of the bay. Okay, yeah. oh, you come all this way over here to Monterey to play? Yeah, yeah, I coach with Amua, uh, Amua Volleyball Club over in Monterey. So I, I travel over here and then I love I love Monterey and this, this event, it's a good event, so. Hello, Monterey! We're, well, first of all, I'd like to mention the fact that there's a bridge back there, and it says the Veterans Memorial Bridge. And so I thought of my brothers that served in Vietnam with myself, and, uh, and I thought, you know, well, that was pretty commendable that they would do that. And so I thank anyone that was uh, proud of that project and uh, making uh, it the Memorial Bridge for veterans. So that's cool that we came across that bridge to this beautiful lake, Lake Shasta.
in the islands with me. Whisper your name. Our paradise is waiting with flowers and lace. Under the banyan tree, you lie in next to me. Stars falling around us like an angel. Palm trees swaying, ukuleles playing, my time just for two. Living aloha in Hawaii with you. I live lonely, lonely. Stay tuned for more of my show. And turn it into a hat. Welcome to Victoria's magical storybook time. We love Victoria's magical one, two, three. If I just pull on three of those ropes, they all become the same song.
Kelly, your galactic advisor here at Channel 24 AMP. Can you say this guy's sacrificed everything to keep us free? World War II. At least we can do is give them a few highways to remember them, to remember their sacrifice for our freedom. Blue Star Memorial Highway. It's a tribute to the National Armed Services, Armed Forces who served in World War II. cities. It's a big deal. Major cities. They exist in little spots, you know, in our country. San Francisco, Portland, Seattle, Chicago, and New York. Seaside to seaside. It's kind of fun. Seaside, California, that's where I graduated high school. And I had no idea there was a seaside Oregon. But it's the end of the trail for Lewis and Clark where they found it. Seaside, and I just found it now. Liberty Bell that these guys are standing on. This is Lewis and Clark, and they made it here a lot sooner than I did, a lot longer ago. They made it here at Lewis and Clark, and uh, but I'm in Seaside, Oregon. Sugar Shay. Sugar <laughs> Shay with the sharks. Yay! Yeah, okay, what she does is she, she hangs out here with all these sharks. And right here next to the ocean. And then she, my office. And she tells you about timeshares, which is something you know, if you wanted to live here. 
should explain how you could share in a, a time. Uh, here or Mexico or wow, Mexico Fiji to, or. I had no idea. Okay, we're in Seaside. You knew that. But you know, the interesting thing is that Lewis and Clark had to follow some trail to come to the coast. There just happens to be some trails that you can explore while you're in Seaside. Okay, there's a lot to read, but come with me. This is a, an amazing trail. It's just like, like it must have been for Lewis and Clark years ago. saw the oceans, but they did. They must have been amazed, huh, to see all that beach line after walking through all this trail after trail up and down over mountains. Quite a journey. From Seaside, California to Seaside, Oregon. Thanks for watching the show. It's the legend of Bigfoot that he weighs a thousand pounds. Where, where is he? He's everywhere you can't be found. He's here, then he's gone. It's like that. Bigfoot. Everybody knows about him, but they never can get a picture. Pay attention to me. Hey, wake up. What's the matter with you? He doesn't pay attention to me. Bigfoot. I finally find him. This is how he treats me. He ignores me. All right. 